It is a bizarre accident that has left onlookers horrified. A stuntman rappling down a 14-story mall hurtled to his death as the rope he was using to rappel down snapped. Shockingly, there was no safety net in place. And while the mall authorities deny negligence, clearly no lessons have been learned on safety procedures to be followed. No lessons learned of any past incidents. The inauguration of the Great Adventure Carnival Mall in Noida. Two stuntmen seen rappelling down the swanky 14-storey building. One of the two, Shailendra Singh, takes two giant steps and then seems to pause for a few seconds. And then, shockingly hurtles to his death as the rope gives away at 100 feet. It was a tragedy that was waiting to happen. Stuntman Shalin Singh managed to climb atop this mall and when he was coming down, the rope snapped and he fell from a height of 400 feet. He died at the spot because there were no safety nets, no paramedics and not even a fire tender. There were no paramedics, no ambulance, no firefighters on standby. Shalendra Singh did not even receive first aid, consequently succumbed to his injuries. But this was not the end to the tragic incident that unfolded here. Little later, Sayali Bhagat got injured when a dirt biker hit her. The police have said that they have registered a case against the organisers. The police claim that no permission had been taken for such dangerous stunts. Not to forget, these events would have been open to the public after the initial showcase. The incident, a chilling reminder of what happened in Bangalore. Similar safety lapse led to the death of a 25-year-old woman during a mock fire drill in February. During this grappling event, uh, part of this, uh, some adventure sports thing happening and the ropes, one rope on that side and the other on the far side was extended all the way to the ground. But the rope till here was only till where the, where if you can see the pole, the pillar meets the top part, okay. So the guy who was grappling down, uh, I don't think he saw the fact that the rope was ending. And he just slid down and he slid past and he just fell from that height all the way to the ground. Times now asks, why was there not even a safety net in place for the stuntmen? And why was the police not intimated that such stunts will be performed at the event? The heat is now on on the police for having turned a blind eye and the organisers for their sheer ignorance. Bureau Report, Times Now.